Let's take a look at CAD Transform for Blender. Alright guys, how's it going? Now let's be honest here, not really bringing anything new to the table. There's been a lot of YouTubers who have covered this add-on, but hopefully there's one thing that you'll take away. You'll go to the description, you'll download this add-on, and it'll make your life just a little bit easier. Now, CAD Transform is available on Gumroad for free. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Highly recommend you support the developer. CAD Light Transform is made by Stephen L or Stephen L and it's available for free. What else can you ask for? Now let's quickly jump back into Blender and there's one thing that I recommend you do before you do anything else and that is assign a keyboard shortcut to this CAD Transform. Now what you can do is you can actually right click on it, add to quick favourites or you can assign a key shortcut. And the reason for this is you actually use it a lot of the time. Now personally I have my own quick pivot tools so I don't use this in production but I actually recommend it more than mine. It gives you features like the measure tool, stuff like this. But anyway, let me show you what you need to do. So let's select this object, and the basic operation is move, scale, and rotate, just like anything else, to be honest. So we can use G to move, and you'll notice that nothing actually happens. And the reason for this is, is I'm actually in the face mode. So if I press space to reset, I can select vertex by pressing V, and when I scroll over a vertex, you can see here, what I can do is I can quickly do stuff like this. And that is the basics of CAD Transform. How cool is that? It's so easy to use, to be honest. Now let me just quickly move this default cube and I'll give you a brief overview of the interface. So let's select the cube, let's go to CAD Tools. And like I mentioned here, the first operation you need to do is move, rotate and scale. Up here on the top left hand side, you can see we have icons. So we have vertex, edges, faces. We also have point snapping, so you can snap to the perpendicular. You can also snap to edge parallel, stuff like this. Nice and easy. If you go to the tool panel on the right hand side, it'll actually give you a bunch of shortcuts. So if you ever get stuck or you ever need to reference something, you can find it here. Now generally what you'll use is V for vertex, E for edge, and F for faces. So it's pretty intuitive to be honest. If you want to select something like the face center, what you can do is you can press shift and F, and that will select the center of the face. If you want to reset this, press space bar, let's press V for vertex, and we can snap like this. Now this works inside of edit mode and object mode I believe. So if you're ever really stuck, just make sure to check out this menu here. And it's a pretty cool tool, to be honest. And that really is CAD Transform. I can't oversell it. It just works. I recommend you download it. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, because I've been shitposting for the last week or two. <laughs> you know what to do. Take care.